what's up everyone welcome back so today make a not a very in-depth video but a short video about snap-ons multimeter advanced it is part number EEDM 596F I've had it for a couple of months and uh, haven't really had too much of a reason to use it but that's how it usually goes my fluke took a crap and really needed a meter decided to get this one why not it's supposed to be the best I suppose um, and after I used it once haven't really needed it again it's just how it goes and even take the little screen protector off of it but a few things about it that I've noticed one is I'm not incredibly impressed with these leads you know for a $600 meter you would think the leads would be a little better but the tip on them I mean it's okay and but I'm not a big fan of the the alligator clips that come with it they're kind of I mean, they're alright I guess but the leads themselves feel really really cheap uh, most of the time actually I just end up using wherever they are but, oh yeah these the leads that came with the scanner uh, see now that's an alligator clip but anyway that came with the modus edge and I end up using those more than these little deals um, but other than that, I would say it's a pretty good meter. Uh, it does eat a lot of batteries or so, I'm told. I haven't really used it enough to wear them out. went ahead and got a pack of 9 volts just in case. Uh, things I do like about it, I like the display. Um, it's really bright, so if you're in a dark place, like under the hood of a car, let's use this as an example. So if you're back here under the hood, you can easily see what you're working on. Um, I still haven't, like I said, my last meter didn't have near this many fancy settings, but I think most of them are stuff you're not really going to use. I do like the fact it has an RPM probe, I guess. Uh, that comes in handy some older cars and even some new cars don't have a tack so um, checking RPM for different reasons that's pretty handy and it does do temperature temperature is fun I like using the temperature but that's been more of a uh, I guess a novelty but works pretty well has the pretty decent length probe with it you can see it's nice and warm here in Alabama I know some parts of the country are freezing. It's not too bad here. It's pretty warm. Today was pretty nice. It was 60-something degrees today. But anyway, let's get back to this. It does have range, and you can record different things, hold, and Bluetooth. It does have an app that you can get for it and <laughs> it may be the worst app ever it took me two or three weeks to get that to work as you can see it shows Ooh, look you can use your little smartphone with it and it does it will uh let's get to the app page this is the boring part of the video well where we look at the book if i can find it well i know it had one on here but anyway the uh oh yeah so the first few times i used it i tried because the app is neat because you can leave the meter under the hood get in the car do whatever you need to do and see what the meter is reading problem is is it does not want to connect to the app it took it takes a couple of tries every time to get it to connect and that's kind of a pain in the butt when you're in a hurry and you need to get something done and 
your Bluetooth app doesn't work. So uh, Snap-on needs to uh, get after it and fix that app. You would think that they would do a little better job. Um, do I have another phone here? I don't think I have another phone here, otherwise I would show you all how horrible this is. But it's one of the worst apps I've ever used. So that part, if you're buying this just for the fact that it'll do the Bluetooth, uh, I think I would just pass. Save your money, you know, get something a little cheaper. And unless you just absolutely need it because it's a bit of a pain in the butt. The other thing is, is this little loop that's supposed to hold the the leads doesn't really work all that well so say you got your leads and you're supposed to just be able to stick them under here at least I think that's what this is for I believe that's what it said in the instructions oh, that, I know that's what my dealer told me but I don't think that's what that's for Let's see, we don't have anything in there about the loop. My dealer said it was to hold the leads, but it doesn't really do a very good job of that. Even, you know, see, I mean, that's just, that's, that's ridiculous. Maybe there's something else. It's not strong enough to hang from that, but if that's for holding the leads, that's not a very good solution for it. So I wouldn't recommend that. It does have the... Well, sometimes I'm pulling it out backwards. Y'all can tell. I am not as thrilled with this as I thought I would be. It seems pretty cheap and kind of falling apart. Funny enough, tomorrow's video, sorry, while I try to fix this stupid thing, tomorrow's video is going to be about a $30 meter <laughs> that I was much more impressed with. There we go. We'll have to give you a preview about tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about another digital multimeter that costs $34 that has thoroughly impressed me. And don't get me wrong, this thing works great. Ish, besides the app and some of the features, I think they could have put a little bit more time and effort into. You know, it does have a good screen, has plenty of features, does, you know, whatever you would want. But for the money, I just don't think it's quite worth the money. Anyway, tomorrow is going to be a much, I guess, more positive video because we're going to talk about a $34 multimeter that does most of what this does. And I was actually surprised. Now, this one is hybrid rated. You can see. There we go. That's what all its ratings are. Anyway, tomorrow's going to be a much more interesting video, so stay tuned, subscribe for that. Until then, I'll see y'all later.